Hey everybody, Jess here with Key Tara. I'm just gonna do another real quick general reading. Might be your story, might not be. Let's say a quick blessing and we will find out, all right? Holy Spirit, thank you so much for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that you direct our hands, our hearts, our words, and our minds to work your will in our lives each day. And we ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them, amen. All right, I'm gonna use this Chicoli deck to start. Find out what you guys have going on out there. First card out, I have the Ten of Pentacles already. Ten of Pentacles can be, it's like the epitome of luxury and stability. It comes out on its side here. This can be the energy of trying to decide if you wanna buy a house. This can be the energy of deciding you wanna settle down or not. The Ten of Pentacles is about a windfall of money at times. This can be um, you know, a raise in your future. Let's look. And I got the Ten of Cups under that. Oh my goodness, so I got two tens. So tens are cycles of completion, right? Why I have you coming out here on your side, I'm not sure. Usually when cards come out on their side for me as a reader, it means that you're in charge of shifting this energy in some way. This Ten of Cups can be a blended family coming together. This can be a marriage opportunity or a marriage offer, something like that. This could be a very heavy commitment for someone. The Ten of Cups is pretty much everything you could ever want. It's all that in a bag of chips, right? It's the kids, the house, the car, the, the dog, the cat, or whatever it is that you want. Yes, the American dream. And I've got the page of cops. What? I love it. Uh, this is great. I like this reading a lot so far, whoever you are. This page of cups is someone who wants to make an offer of love in some way. Love, kindness, friendship, apology, whatever. All those things. Forgiveness even. Um, this is crossing both of these. This is someone who realizes that they have an awful lot at stake, but there is an awful lot of potential here. Oh my, my. You know I love to read for love. Okay, I have the magician in the reverse. This is someone who's been hiding their feelings for a while. Um, the magician in the reverse uh, can be kind of a shady, manipulative sort of character, if we're being honest. In this particular reading, I'm not getting so much shadiness or manipulativeness, but specific to this Chicoli deck, this magician energy is someone who's wearing a mask, and it feels like they are just now getting ready to take it off, or, or it's kind of starting to fall away. Um, this is someone who's about to release these feelings that they've had bottled up for a while. I don't know that this is your energy. I don't know if this is your energy or if this is someone coming towards you. So you'll just have to decide. I have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. This would be someone that you're not talking to. Um, the Eight of Swords in the reverse, it's it's about becoming unblocked in a situation. It can actually mean um, digital blocking nowadays in our modern day world of Tarot. Um, it can mean like, um, all of a sudden opening up communication um, where there hasn't been a lot in the recent past for whatever reason. I'm gonna clarify with another deck because you know I wanna get a lot nosier about this one. This one's adorable, I love it. Um, so it feels like this person's ready to start talking to you again for the first time in a long time. I don't know why you haven't been talking. Six of Cups. Oh my gosh, you guys are cuter and cuter by the minute. So the Six of Cups is one of our soulmate cards, right? This is somebody that you've had a past life love with, someone that you've known for a long time. Maybe you grew up with this person, but there's definitely the intention of, of maybe growing old with this person. We have um, the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. This is someone who you're very heavy on their mind or they're he very heavy on your mind. <sighs> Boy. Love. I have the Six of Swords. This is someone who may be relocating um, to be closer to you, or this may be someone who is moving house. Um, this may be the energy of you moving in together, something like that with the Six of Swords. Six of Swords is about physical relocation. It usually comes after a time of difficulty though, because usually the Six of Swords indicates um, kind of leaving a situation where you may have felt like you were under duress or there was some stress and it, it's, it's kind of moving out of those shallow, murky, algae-filled waters into calmer, wider, more peaceful seas um, and new, new opportunities and, and whatever that is that comes with that. Yes. 
And I have the Knight of Pentacles. This is someone who's been moving very slowly. This is Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. Um, doesn't have to be those zodiac signs. So don't get hung up on the genders of the zodiac signs I call out. I only call them out in case they are of significance to you, but they might not be. Um, and this Knight of Pentacles is someone who wants to move very slowly. They want to make the right choices. Um, they want to make sure that they do things the right way this time. I get the impression you had a fallout with this person at some point. Um, down here in the bottom corner, there's this little heart and it says, hate me on it. Um, it's like those little um, sweet hearts that you get at <laughs> at um, Valentine on Valentine's Day and they all kind of taste like Pepto-Bismol right but they say little things on them um, this one says hate me I'm afraid that you guys may have had some kind of issue some kind of falling out that caused some kind of separation we definitely have had something happen with that eight of swords in the reverse because um, at some point you weren't talking to each other one of you had blocked the other communicatively uh, let me get this um, artist inner vision to roam and we will find out what all that's about. First of all, let's back it up. Let's back this truck up over here to these two tens. Anything else you wanna say about that? I got the Queen of Cups, wow. Um, this person loves you very much. They think very highly of you. Um, the thing about the Queen of Cups, and this may be your energy, this may be this other person's, the Queen of Cups is someone who is highly nurturing, but they, they love unconditionally. And this would be something that was presented to this person time and time again, uh, is this nurturing quality, this unconditional love. This is someone who gives with their whole heart. They're very artistic. They're very beautiful. There are They are someone that other people write songs about other people paint paintings about. Um, this is someone who's very inspiring when it comes to love. This is someone who's, um, it's like, it's a, I'm hearing like the Helen of Troy, the, the face that launched a thousand ships, that kind of energy. Um, this is someone who sees you that way or you see this other person that way. This person feels like they could start a family with you. You, They may feel like you would be a good wife, a good mother, a good father, a good husband, something like that. I've got the temperance card on top of that. I, I keep getting drawn to these paint brushes. This is so interesting. Um, paint brushes here paintbrush up here. This is the temperance card. This is the card of Sagittarius. Um, this is someone who I always think of this as the card of manifestation. It's about pulling things down from the fifth dimension into our third dimensional world. It's um, asking for the right things. It's about praying for the right things. This is someone who has adjusted. It would be willing to adjust a lot of their routine to accommodate this relationship. This is someone who has been hoping that this would work out in the future. What, why this four of pentacles I have here? Um, oh, I see. Um, at some point there was a loss of faith or trust in this relationship between you and this person. I don't know how that happened. This four of pentacles is someone who started to hold on to themselves. They could have held on to things financially. Um, they, maybe they didn't want to, open up um, emotionally, maybe they didn't want to share some aspect of themselves. That could have been what led to this Eight of Cups in the reverse. This is someone that you were with before, in a relationship with before. Now guys, this is a Mercury retrograde that we're in. In fact, I think we have five or six different planets that are all in retrograde as we speak. So it's really not a great time to be attaching to anyone. It's really not. So this person's feelings may be there right now, but I feel like you've been through this. You've been through something with this person before and they have all these feelings but I'm not sure that they are gonna last. With this Eight of Cups in the reverse, this is someone who left the situation at some point and now they wanna come back. It's the Four of Wands though. I can't help but bring this up for heaven's sake. The Four of Wands is that Twin Flame 1111 Awakening card. Um, this is someone who is a divinely guided soulmate um, for you. So let's just throw the whole Mercury retrograde thing out the window, although it does still apply. It's true. However, this person you're probably gonna have an on again, off again relationship with if they are in fact your Twin Flame soulmate because Twin Flame soulmates come in and out of one another's lives to um, promote growth within one another. 
um, until they finally have both reached the place that they need to reach in whatever lifetime it is. Um, and then they will finally come back together. Now this four of wands is an energy of marriage. It's an energy of timing. It's an energy of being at the right place at the right, in the right place at the right time. My goodness, this is the sweetest reading I have done all day. I love it. And I've got the King of Cups, the uh, match to this Queen of Cups. Whoever you are, I don't know which side of the coin you're on here. And I honestly don't think it matters because I feel like, see, the thing about these divine relationships here with this... Um, for this four of wands energy is that you will be mirroring one another all the same feelings you'll each be feeling on both sides but there will be a lack of communication which we see here with this eight of swords in the reverse um, and it, it causes a lot of confusion um, it causes a lot of confusion and misinformation uh, okay and let's be real, the King of Cups, um, whether they're in the upright position or in the reverse, they're not good sharers in the first place. There's someone who has a lot of emotions, but they're not great at communicating. No shade, but it is just true. Um, but this is someone who sees you as their ultimate match. They see you as marriage, marriage, wifey, hub, hubby material, whatever that means for you. If you like that sort of thing. Aha, uh -huh. now I've got the emperor out. That's the card of divine masculine. Very good. Alrighty. Um, here's the thing. I have the emperor out in the reverse. And while I was shuffling, I was thinking, why did we have this blockage happen in the first place? Uh, I hate to throw somebody in the, under the rug here, but... Um, this emperor in the reverse is someone who threw a tantrum. They threw a fit. Um, they let their um, need to control get the better of them in some way. And it caused a major fallout between this queen of cups, king of cups energy. And it feels like they have figured this out. It feels like they want to come in. They want to make an apology. They want to offer some kind of love, some kind of commitment. This person was watching you for a long time from a distance, it feels like. And they were keeping their true feelings under wraps. They weren't sharing them with with you they certainly weren't um i don't even know if they were being completely honest with themselves but now they see you as this soulmate it's kind of undeniable here um and so now they want to come back and they want to talk to you hmm, yes I have the Six of Pentacles that comes out here. This is um, this is a very reciprocal relationship. It's equal on both sides, like I was saying. Um, again and again, look, it says. Again and again. Um, and this is, the Six of Pentacles is equally balanced on both sides. These are two individuals who love one another equally. They think of one another equally and they mirror one another. That's very similar. This Four of Wands is always the energy of mirroring one another. Um, if you follow the Twin Flame journey, you will agree probably <laughs> um, that that is accurate. Um, yeah, so this person wants to come back in. They want to tell you that they love you and you want to say, I love you back. But just keep in mind with that Eight of Cups in the reverse, this person said that once before and then they took off. Now it looks like they want to come back in. We'll catch up with you guys on another day and hopefully this storyline comes back through because it is awfully sweet and it is very beautiful. I just hope it lasts this time. All right, much love to you guys. I'll talk to you soon.